Well, it, it is a bit odd. I mean, you might say um, it's going a bit too far. However, I've got to admire the fact he, he at least cares enough to try and get his kids in school. Yeah. Now, I've got a big problem with this whole fining business uh, in terms of, you know, people just need to do the maths. Yeah. Um, go and get an £80 fine and save 500 quid on a holiday. Um, plus, we've had schools locked down for two years. So that's a clear message from the government that school doesn't matter very much. Mm. Teachers going on strike, another message that given the odd day of school doesn't really matter. So uh, I think everything should be done to get the kids in school. Last I heard, it was actually against the law to keep your kids off school. Yeah. We used to report to social services and parents used to be taken to court. I don't know where that's all gone. So I, I'm not 100% sure about looking into bins and stuff like that. Uh, however, good on him for giving a damn and yeah. wanting to get his kids in school. Yeah, I thought you might say that. But I guess the question is, is when does somebody become a long-term truant? You know, I mean, if somebody's off for a week... It's conceivable they could be sick, I suppose, and I assume you have to yeah. get a doctor's note for that. But, you know, if it becomes a longer-term problem or you see that the child is out of school quite a lot, surely there must be a better remedy than yeah, to have to send teachers there, there are triggers, Michael. There, there are triggers. Right. As long as I've been in teaching, you know, overall percentage of attendance, you want to aim for 95+. plus. Yeah. Once it drops below 95, it's a concern. Mm. Once it drops below 90... You're talking about social services, but I think the biggest issue is, are you engaging the parents? Are you having a chat? Mm. You know, what's going on here? This is what they're missing. You want to encourage a good relationship so that people are honest with you. Right. And uh, uh, there's so many things wrong with everything, all the butts stopping with the schools. Um, Ofsted will come in, they will check your attendance. They will ask you what you're doing. Yeah, where were they during COVID, for goodness sake? Yeah. You know, where was the guidance then? Uh, I know I employ a home liaison officer across both schools that I'm involved in, and they went round the houses when things went quiet during COVID. We knocked on the door. Can we help? What's going on? Why haven't you been in touch? Why isn't the child doing work that we have set? Because we were actually one of the few schools monitoring what we set. Yeah. But where were the guidelines? I know a lot of schools, they set the work. If it was done, it was done. If it wasn't, it was wasn't. And now we've got 117 kids that apparently have ghosted away. Mm. Well, this should be an outcry here, but I'm not sure it's the school's responsibility, but hats off to this fella. At least he cares enough to do something. Mm. Most heads would have just said, well, it's not my responsibility. What can I do? Right. And uh, I'm not sure which is right, but I think I prefer the fella from Doncaster's approach to a couldn't care less approach that yeah. we seem to be having from everyone in charge. Well, that may be true, but you, as you said, you know, if you're going to pay an £80 fine and because of his snooping around, that's what happens to you, you might still not stop going to save yourself a couple of thousand quid on a holiday because they can't afford to go exactly. during the summer. But the other thing I was going to ask you about, Serge, as well, yeah. is that we were saying earlier, just as, as a general um, complaint, there's about half a million youngsters, I, mean, I call them youngsters, between 18 and 24, who are not currently working because they're sitting at home suffering from anxiety. Have you noticed that in schools that's something that people are complaining about as well? Well, I, I've noticed it everywhere, you know. Um, and once again, what are we doing to our kids? How are we bringing up our children? And every so, no, we talk about the word resilience. Yeah. My God, everything's somebody else's fault. Somebody's going to bail us out. There's a bad, we have a bad day. It's anxiety. Let's go mm. to the doctors. The doctors sign anybody off for anything these days. And ultimately, this is going to sound a bit off, but we've got to do something about the welfare system. It's far too easy to, to be at home and do nothing. Yeah. I think it's a wonderful thing, the welfare system, but it was always meant to be a safety net. And what a wonderful safety net, but it was never meant to be a way of life. And our youngsters shouldn't be at home. And as simple as that. And again, doctors shouldn't be signing off any old thing. But how do you prove this someone's anx anxious? What does that mean? Well, exactly. That that seems to be the problem because nobody can diagnose yeah. it. I mean, certainly in the world of benefits, it's a bit like what used to be the bad back situation where you can say you've got a bad back, nobody can really prove you haven't. It's even harder to prove that you're not anxious, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, OK, I've got a lot... I'm fortunate. Again, I'm Executive Health St Thomas the Apostle. I've since, I've since moved down from head teacher at Sacred Heart. Mm. But... I noticed it with the staff. I'm lucky. Most of my staff are really committed and stuff like that. 
but you hear stories and you get the odd one or two. You know, uh, uh, you know, this well-being, mental well-being, for goodness sake. What does that mean? Everyone has a bad day. I've been teaching 45 years. You've been around. You're just a dinosaur a bit like me, I'm afraid. <laughs> you know, and uh, what can we do about it to stop it? Mm. How can we stop it and just reel it back in? Get, get, bring up children to realize that, yeah. you know what, you're going to fall over now and again. Yeah. But get up, dust yourself down and get on with it, for God's sake. Yeah. Very you know, well said. Don't start crying in the corner. Very uh, well, well said, well, Serge. I've got to, I've got to run um, because we're out of time. Yeah, okay. But thank you very much.